So, hello, hello, hello. This is Maxor, and welcome back to a Let's Play series of Watch Dogs 2. Um, last episode, uh, Eye for an Eye, and we claim back Borasho's kind of dead. He's gone, out. So, now we're going to start kind of a new adventure, um, which is called Hack the World, and most likely is with Ray um, and yeah I hope you like it um, if you do so you know what to do just let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also follow me on Twitter so yeah let's hack the world so here we go Wait for it. About that, but welcome to Galilee. Kind of piece of video. From here, you want to get to the clean room. It's environmentally controlled, full of sensitive equipment, so try not to leave any prints. What's in the clean room? The chip I gave you is no good without a mobo. If I'm reading this brief correctly, the kind we're looking for are stored there. So the only thing that you're missing, I was saying, is just the driving um, from what we were in the beach to here. Um, nothing major. And they wanted to kind of investigate this place and trying to figure out things. Um, that's pretty much uh, nothing major, sir. Would you allow me to scan you? Would you allow me to scan you? You've been randomly selected. The scan was interrupted. Got it. Dispatching our contractor now. Oh! 
please allow me to scan you. Scanning takes just a few seconds. <laughs> oh my god, that, it's awful. We are having time, if you don't mind. What is he up to? Hey, pal, you think you're funny? Oh, baby! Keep it in your pants, Marcus. They've got the whole place locked down with trip lasers and guys with guns. Keep forgetting you're watching me. Creepy. I'm watching you and those guards lurking on the ground floor. The hoist could help you avoid them.
on operation. Your hands. Well done. Now let's see, where do they keep the mobos in there? It's cool, I got this. Clipper chip in that rocket, and ding! Fries are done. The RC's not gonna be able to hold on to the board. Ah, damn, if only we had somebody there with working hands. <laughs> Touche. You know, my dad took me to the Air and Space Museum when I was like 10 years old. That was nothing compared to this. Rockets and dinosaurs, man. I mean, <laughs> you never outgrow them, right? All right, where's the funny bone at? Don't forget the water on the knee. Hey, Ray, you think I can officially put rocket scientists on my resume now? What do I look like, a career counselor? Done. Yeah, beautiful. Now get out of there. Course Ferry's Paradox covers this type of overly optimistic interplanetary fishing expedition. I mean, Ooh. I'm certain there are beings out there. But if you ask me, they'd never want to talk to us. Chances are, they're so advanced that our greatest scientific and technological achievements are the kind of the things that their kids play with in their cribs or give to their dogs as shoe toys. Would you allow me to Honestly, say? we are entirely too impressed with their own gadgets. This will be painless, I assure you. And that, kids, is how you bug a satellite. I've got a sack full of cookies waiting here for you. It'll be a while before the rocket's ready to launch. We'll call you when it's time. Until then, go buy yourself something pretty. Or don't. I mean, I don't really care what you do. Yes? 
There are no cookies.